98% of you aren't subscribed, so let's fix that. WWDC this year was incredible. It was insane. It was the most jam-packed event I've ever seen Apple do. A lot of new announcements and features that are honestly going to change the game forever. And with the announcement of the new M4 iPad Pros last month, we were really thinking that iPad OS this year was going to be wild. It was going to give us a lot of desktop class features on the iPad. One, it'll shut up a lot of people who are complaining about certain things on the iPad not being as good as the Mac, the iPad not being a good Mac replacement. And honestly, it will have given us some features that are valid that we actually needed, like, you know, a better Finders app. Did any of that happen this year in this incredible jam-packed event? The answer is a resounding no. So iPadOS gave us a lot of really cool features that were also on the iPhone like finally being able to customize your home screen, move apps anywhere, and be able to change the color of app icons because, you know, Android hasn't been doing this for years. So, you know, finally Apple's doing it. And they also added a lot of really cool new features like Smart Script and Math Notes, where you're able to use your really crappy handwriting, write really fast. And using AI, it's going to make your handwriting more legible. Still your handwriting, just a more legible version. It's like when I actually tried during handwriting class in like fifth grade. It's a really cool idea. I wish they would bring that to the iPhone. That would be another game-changing thing. Math notes, huge, where you're able to take math notes and it'll solve the problem for you, even with like advanced trigonometry crap that I'm too dumb to do. That's really exciting, really cool to see. And again, it'll give you the answer to the equation in your handwriting. You can see graphs in real time. You're able to adjust the angle and you'll see it in the graph change in real time. It's really cool. And all it needs is an M1 processor or later. Also all the new Apple intelligence stuff. Again, M1 processor or later. So why did the iPad Pro this year get an M4 chip? My understanding, I'm pretty sure it's just for the tandem OLED technology. And if I had figured that out, if we had known that before, we wouldn't have had our hopes to hear for iPad OS this year. Because honestly, it was kind of meh. You're now able to have, you know, hey, collapsible sections in the Notes app, so that's cool. And again, a lot of really cool new iPhone features. One of the big features that I think is kind of underrated in iPad OS this year is the new customizable floating menu bar. You're able to customize it and it's going to clean up the screen. I hate the big sidebar on all of the apps. I think it's just in the way I want my screen, my app to be full screen. So I think that's going to be really huge. But why didn't they fix Stage Manager? Why didn't they give us better monitor support? Why didn't they give us a better Finder app? I don't know. They don't want to cannibalize Mac sales, but honestly, I feel like we're getting so close to the two merging and we're going to get a touchscreen Mac one day. And that's going to be huge. I really think once the iPad gets a 16 inch screen and you're able to choose between 11 inches, 13 inches, and 16 inches, and it runs Mac OS or something in between the two with Apple Pencil, that's going to be the peak Mac Pad Pro. That'll be really awesome. And I think that's the day that we are inching closer and closer to. It's just this year, Apple didn't have a lot going on. They didn't have a lot that was ready to share. And that's why they gave us what they gave us. So if you are disappointed in the new iPad features this year, if you have any thoughts about what Apple should have done, what they could have done, are you done with the iPad now? Did this solidify your concerns with the iPad? Are you just going to throw it in the trash? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm Jake. This is Shot on My Phone.